Hey everybody, welcome to Reading the Bible to Cats. Um, <laughs> Custer is using Henry as a pillow right now. But that's so cute. I'll just set the camera down like that. Well, let's um, read a psalm. And since it is September, is it September 2nd? I think it's September 2nd, so I will read Psalm 2, which I know I've read before. Um, yeah, it's, I'm kind of, not kind of, I am sad because of, you know, we've been praying for the hostages and, you know, six of them, was it six, were killed. <clears throat> so we'll read the psalm and then we'll remember them in prayer at the end. So we'll read Psalm 2 because it's September 2nd. <laughs> I'm just going with the number 2. Okay. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion. My holy mountain. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, You are my son. Today I, I have become your father. Ask me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Kiss his son, or he will be angry, and your way will lead to your destruction, for his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Okay, everyone, that's the end of Psalm 2, and, you know, really powerful psalm. Um, again, Zion is mentioned, and, um, excuse me, the, the word that is so maligned these days. Every time I come across it in the Bible, I have to, I have to, point it out because it's just all over the Bible, you know. It's a biblical word and we know that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against spirits and principalities and wickedness in high places who hate that word because it's from the Bible, you know. As we read here in the Psalm, you know, Verse 6, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. And this, this psalm is, uh, I believe it, it's so messianic. I mean, to me, it's like, hello, <laughs> hello. I mean, I don't know how much more clear you can get, really. I mean, to me, it's like, okay, well, listen to this. Verse 7, I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Kiss his son, or he will be angry, and your way will lead to your destruction. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. I mean, it's like all about 
the sun, you know, S O N, not S U N. Um, you know, it's, it, it's like, to me, it, it speaks to me of, um, Yeshua, of Jesus, you know, the Son of God, um, and seems very messianic. Um, but it, the sense in which it seems messianic to me is not like messianic in the sense of the lamb that was slain before the foundations of the world, you know, the Passover lamb or, you know, Jesus as the suffering servant, but the Messiah as the ruling king, you know, the one who comes to, um, to, to rule and reign, um, you know, the lion of the tribe of Judah, which I know Henry and Guster love that reference. They are very pleased that the Lord has chosen to identify as a lion. Right, Guster? Open your eyes, Guster. <laughs> yeah, right. You you really like that reference. So, um, yeah. Well, oops. I think Henry's maybe rebelling against the being a pillow, but I guess not. Well. I'll keep this one short. This will be, I'll call this a shorty. <laughs> I'll call my short video shorties. <laughs> um, let me set this down because otherwise it wobbles all around. Look at those toe beans. That's so cute. Um, you know, let's pray. And uh, yeah, we'll just pray. Lord, thank you for your word and um, before you just saddened at the news, uh, you know, I'm praying for the hostages. And we have prayed, Lord, that they would feel your presence supernaturally, that, that though they were in captivity, held hostage in tunnels, those, I'm thinking of the six people that didn't make it out, that, um, that we've prayed that you would just show up for them spiritually and that you would strengthen their spirit which that was my prayer for them and though they um they weren't released physically but died i i thank you that we were able to pray pray for them and just to, you know trust that you did Comfort them in their captivity. Pray for the families that you would comfort them, Lord, supernaturally and strengthen them, enable them to survive this terrible tragedy. Pray for everybody who's watching or listening. Maybe they've lost a loved one tragically. You know, maybe it was a tragic loss that that just they had no control over but maybe they feel like they could have done more but they they maybe have some guilt i just pray that whatever the situation that you would alleviate any feelings of guilt and comfort them and strengthen them supernaturally through your spirit because sometimes these tragedies are so hard to overcome. Pray that you comfort the brokenhearted, Lord. And we do pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for the peace of Israel and um, just for your people, the Jewish people who are just with all this crazy anti-Semitism and hatred of even the word Zion, which is just a beloved biblical word that speaks of your faithfulness and truth and deliverance and hope and all of these wonderful things. 
and it's a blessing and that all who would take refuge in the God of Israel would see that. But anyway, Lord, I lift all these things up to you. And I pray, Lord, for myself because I need it. <laughs> I need it, Lord. I need it too. I need strength. Strength of mind and strength of spirit. And I need some motivation. So just pray for all these things, Lord. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everyone. This will be a shorty. Let's look at the kiddies. Oh, look at that. Who is that? Is that a Henry? Oh, someone's being so cute. Oh, okay. Just, okay, well, that's the end of the video. Bye.